دیگه متحد بکنه صدها نفر از طریق فیسبوک با ما تماس گرفتن و مطمئنم هزاران نفر امروز در دعاها در روح با ما هستن و امروز رو با ما جشن میگیرن I want to welcome all our guests today uh, from near or far we have a lot of uh, American English speaking people among us and uh, we welcome you it's so good to have you we appreciate especially people that have come a long way uh, from out of state Uh, we have uh, guests from four different countries today with us, and it is the power of the blood of martyrs that uh, can unite us on such an occasion. Uh, today's program will be in uh, kind of half English, half Farsi. Most of the parts will be translated, uh, and we want to make sure that we keep uh, the time limit and uh, give enough time also for fellowship after the program. Allow me to say a few words in Armenian as well. سیلی آره کامنر و کرنر زانوس نر و رسول نر کایک شاد شنوار کالنگ و اکیله کسور و اسپ تونی ام پاپیس کسانیرت و نه تا گویان آمیا کیراره تونینگ هیشن کیران زر مکار مکیل نر مرا مارو را خوییونا اسور کانی و مرمت شاد با پارس کاخوسیه و آنگلیاتی یوررونینگ کارسمن و دوگونه سرکولز ویس مک نو مک و استا Shot love, gas kanak yev. Shema kalem zer. I'm a good talk to you. Needs for karaganang ragiri manatat parsken yev anglern lesvov sharonakeng. Embruz pa in jalasafem kana fagad baray ma be yad overdan bistomi salgar de baba nist. Bal kam turki ruis afami binin. Vagan jast kereftan be 20 sal va fadari khoda vandas. Baray khane vade ma baray. خانواده مسیحی ایرانیان و واقعا ارزش داره که امروز دور هم جمع بشیم و شاید برای شما سوال باشه که چرا یک چنین مراسم بزرگی رو بعد از 20 سال شهادت یک شخص باید گرفت و حداقل چند نکته کلی رو دوست دارم در همین اول جلسه با شما در میون بذارم و مطمئنم تا حدی هر کدوم از شما با یکی از این نکته حداقل آشنا هستیم و با این ایمان امروز در اینجا حضور دارین اول اینکه که بتونیم به ایمانداران و مخصوصا نسل جوان معرفی بکنیم شهدای قرن بیستم رو به هایی که اونا پرداختن و تا اونا بدونن که ایمانی که امروز به اونا منتقل شده چه به های سختی برای اون پرداخت شده دوم این که امیدی باشیم برای اشخاصی که امروز در جفا هستن چه در ایران چه در جاهای مختلف دنیا بدونن که اونها اولین نبودن قبل از اونها اشخاصی بودن که این مسیر رو رفتن و امید جاودانی رو از دست ندن و بالاخره این که پیغامی به دنیا بفرستیم و مخصوصا دشمنان کلیسا که با از بین بردن و کشتن اشخاصی مثل پدرم به صورت وحشیانه ماجرا و تاریخچه اونها تمام نخواهد شد بلکه خون اونها هر روز با زندگی های ما صحبت خواهد کرد و اسم اونها هر روز به با... یاد ما خواهد بود با... Allow me to share three points that these are the main fundamental uh, reasons that we did this service in such a big scale and that is not just to remember uh, my Father's 20th memorial, but at the same time to celebrate 20 years of God's faithfulness. And that is a celebration. Today we might uh, have some tears. I've had a lot of tears with my sons over the past few weeks, but these are tears of joy and victory and pride uh, and honor. And these are three main uh, points of today's uh, basically service. 
first one, introducing to Iranian church and especially to the near generation believers that what a price people like my father in 20th century have done. So their lives would be an example for us. Second, giving hope and encouragement to those that are suffering right now. And there are a lot of them in Iran and other uh, Middle Eastern countries around the world. And to let them uh, be encouraged to know that they are not the first and they probably won't be the last, but to know that they can also continue on this race and finish it. And finally, sending a message to the world, and especially to the enemies of the church that thought that by killing uh, violently uh, men of God like my father, their story would end right there, but to know that their blood is speaking to our lives every day and their names will be remembered forever. At this uh, stage, I want to ask our dear brother, who has come a very, very long way, uh, the communication director of uh, Assemblies of God World Mission, Dr. Randy Hurst, to join us and to start with a word of prayer. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, we come to you in the wonderful name of Jesus, for whom our dear brother Hike gave his life. We thank you, Lord, for the gospel that has gone forward because of this man's dedication, as well as the others throughout Iran, who have continued to communicate Jesus to those who are lost and in darkness and waiting for the glorious gospel that will set them free. I pray, Lord, that in this evening's service, your Holy Spirit will awaken all of our minds and hearts to the day in which we live and each of our responsibility to intercede for brothers and sisters who are suffering beyond what we can imagine. Particularly tonight, we pray for those in Iran who are suffering for your name and yet continuing to share the gospel with those who are waiting to hear. We pray for the comfort of your Holy Spirit, for those who are imprisoned, for your strength, for your anointing, for your empowerment. And Lord, we pray that you will open doors mightily by the power of your Spirit to the gospel in Iran. We thank you that this seed that is falling on good ground, as our Savior promised, is producing 30 and 60 and 100 fold and we pray that your Holy Spirit will mightily move throughout the nation of Iran and among the people throughout this world from that nation. And I thank you that, Lord, in eternity, we will see the harvest that you have brought in because of the faithfulness of those like Brother Hike. I especially pray tonight for the precious members of his family, that, Lord, though they look back for 20 years at this martyrdom, Lord, I am sure that the pain is as fresh as it ever was. But Lord, I pray along with that pain, as we go through and see the scenes from his life and hear the testimonies of what you have done through his life, that Lord, there will be a peace and a joy that your promise of your reward will be abundant not only for Hike, but for all of his family. We thank you for what you're going to do in this service and Lord, we pray that those who watch by way of video, your spirit will speak to them of what you want them to do and their responsibility in proclaiming your kingdom. And we ask you all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Hello, everyone. This is so good uh, to be together. The Bible tells us how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters get together in unity. And I already feel the sense of unity, how many of you were hugging each other and were talking and you had not seen each other for a long time. This is beautiful. When we come together in unity, God is glorified. And I believe God is already glorified. But let's continue to praise Him. Let's all stand up. And we'll sing two verses in English and one verse in chorus in Armenian about this blessed assurance that we have in Jesus. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Um, I remember many times I would see my dad walking uh, in the house and he would pray and he would praise and worship. And he was leading worship, but I think way beyond that, he was a lead worshiper before he was a worship leader. And that was a good example for me. I want to sing, I mean, I want us to sing one of the songs that he loved and he translated from Arabic to uh, Farsi. Hey, Khodavan Toy Man Shay Hayata Momina, let's sing this together. Khodavan Toy Man Shay
It's a great honor for me to stand here and read my brother Hike's biography in Farsi. The English translation will be on the screen. زندگی نامه شهید گرانقدر اسخوف هایکوف سپیان موت مقدسان خداوند در نظر وی گرانبهاست پدر روحانی و برادر بزرگوار ما جناب اسخوف هایکوف سپیان ناظر محترم شورای کلیساهای جماعت ربانی ایران در تاریخ 16 دیماه سال 1323 شمسی برابر با 5 ژانویه سال 1945 میلادی در تهران در یک خانواده ارمنی چشم به جهان گشود مادر ایشان بارها در خواب و رویا برکت مخصوص حضور الهی را بر فرزندش دیده بود از همان دوران طفولیت مشکلات بزرگی چون مصیبت بیماری مادر و جدایی والدین را لمس نموده و هنگامی که نوجوانی سرگردان و ضرب خورده بود با شنیدن مجده انجیل از زبان کشیش لئون هایراپتیان با مسیح خداوند آشنا گردید پس از شرکت در جلسات کلیسای خانگی منزل برادر سه تیغ نظر در سال 1957 با توبه از گناهان و تسلیم جدی خود به خداوند عیسی مسیح زندگی جدیدی را آغاز نمود. دیری نگذشت که آتش عشق به خداوند و کلیسا و سید جانهای گم شده در قلب او چنان شعله ور شد که نمیتوانست آرام بگیرد. بدین ترتیب مس و دعوت الهی او برای خدمت روحانی بر همه مشهود گردید. ایشان در حین رفتن به دبیرستان خود را برای آموزش کلام خدا می سپرد. بلا فاصله بعد از گرفتن دیپلم متوسطه با وجودی که استعدادهای علمی و هنری مخصوصی داشت و می توانست در بسیاری از رشته های دنیوی ترقی کند همه آنها را ترک کرده در سال 1962 در 18 سالگی با حقوق بسیار ناچیز وارد خدمت کلیسا شد. یک سال بعد به خدمت نظام وظیفه احزار شد. هرچند که می توانست با گفتن یک دروغ کوچک در مورد کار نکردن پدر پیر و از کار افتاده خود کفیل او شود، طریقش ایستادگی روی حقیقت را انتخاب نموده و گفت من نمی توانم دروغ بگویم لذا با شادمانی دو سال خدمت سربازی خود را سپری نمود در آن زمان خدا ایشان را به طور خاص برکت داده به کار برد وی در شهر گنبد کابوس کلیسایی در منزل خود تأسیس نمود و هر شب مشغول تعلیم، معزه و خدمت شبانی بود که منجر به توبه و تعمید آب چندین نفر گردید از آن جهت که وی لیاقت دعوت روحانی خود را به ثبوت رسانید بلا فاصله پس از پایان خدمت نظام وظیفه در سال 1964 برای کار خدا رسما دعوت شد و با شبانی کلیسای مجیدیه و نارمک خدمت خود را آغاز نمود خداوند خدمت او را بسیار مبارک گردانید و باعث بیداری و تجدید حیات این دو کلیسا شد به طوری که در زمان شبانی ایشان کلیسای مجیدیه به علت ازدهام جمعیت دو برابر شد به علت نیاز جدی که به یک همسنگر داشت خداوند او را به شهر اصفهان هدایت نمود پس از مشورت با برادر لئون شبان وقت کلیسای اصفهان با همسر خود آشنا شد و در سال 1967 این آشنایی منجر به ازدواج 
و تشکیل خانواده بسیار مبارک و شیرین گردید مدتی بعد از ازدواج و زمانی که فقط 22 سال داشت به علت برکت مخصوصی که در زندگی این مرد مقدس وجود داشت از طرف کشیشان گرامی در سال 1967 در کلیسای مجیدیه به مقام مقدس کشیشی دستگذاری شد همسر و همسنگر وفادار ایشان خواهر تاکوهی مارکوسیان همیشه پشتیبان، مشوق، مشاور بسیار خوب و مناسبی برای ایشان بوده و محیطی بسیار گرم و با صفا و صمیمی برای وی ایجاد کرده بود حاصل این ازدواج پنج فرزند می باشد فرزند اول ایشان جوزف انگامی که شش ماهه بود در یک تصادف رانندگی نزد خداوند رفت چهار فرزند دیگر ایشان به ترتیب ربکا، جوزف، جیلبرت و آندره می باشند خانواده برادر هایک برای بسیاری از مؤمنین خانواده نمونه و وقف شده بود خانه وی محل استراحت بنا و تجدید قوا مخصوصا برای خادمین خدا بود ایشان با هدایتی که از طرف خداوند داشت در سال 1968 آزم استان مازندران و شهر گرگان گردید با زحمات و فداکاری های فراوان به مدت دوازده سال در آن استان که از نظر زمینه روحانی خیلی سخت بود وفادارانه خدمت نمود خداوند نیز به ایستادگی و استقامت او و خانوادهش سمر بخشید و کلیسای شیرین و مبارکی در گرگان و ساری تشکیل گشت که بانی آن زنده یاد برادرهای بود در سال 1980 با تایید و هدایت مستقیم الهی معموریت خود در شمال کشور را به پایان رسانده و جهت کمک به ناظر وقت کشیش لئون هایرپتیان آزم تهران شد در آنجا مدت سه سال در سمت معاونت اسخف مشغول خدمت فعالانه بود تا اینکه برادر لئون هایراپتیان که بر گردن ایشان حق پدری داشتند به علت پیری سمت نظارت را به وی واگذار نمود ایشان از سال 1982 اسخف و ناظر کلیساهای جماعت ربانی ایران گردید در طول دوازده سال خدمت نظارت مرحوم اسخف های کفسپیان به طور خاص سبب تقویت و بنای کلیسای ایران شد وی از طرف خداوند معموریت داشت که به کلیسای ایران هویت جهانی بخشد علاقه فوقلاد زیاد به کار خدا باعث شد نهایت سعی و تلاش خود را برای ایجاد ارتباط نزدیک با کلیساهای دیگر بنماید از آنجایی که به دور از هر نوع تعصب و تبعیزی همه را خدمت می نمود در میان کلیساهای دیگر به عنوان شخصیتی بسیار محبوب و دوست داشتنی شناخته شده بود پس از تشکیل شورای شبانان کلیساهای پروتستان در سال 1987 به عنوان مدیر این شورا انتخاب گردید و تا پایان عمر به این خدمت ادامه داد به خاطر تفکر روشن و دید وسیعی که داشت شخصیت شناخته شده ای در جهان محسوب می شد و در اقصا نقاط جهان او را پذیرفته و به شخصیت و خدمت ایشان احترام می گذاشته. در دوران تصدی خدمت نظارت اسخف هایک اده بسیاری در نتیجه تشویق ها و حمایت های همه جانبه وی وارد کار خدا شدند که همکنون نیز در جبهه های مختلف چه در ایران و چه در خارج از کشور مشغول خدمت روحانی می باشند از مشخصات ویژه اسخف های کفسپیان حمایت او از جفا دیدگان به خاطر نام مسیح بود ایشان مخصوصا برای آزادی کشیش مهدی دیباچ از زندان 
تلاش های فراوان بین المللی نمود و موفق به انجام این کار نیز گردید درست سه روز بعد از آزادی مهدی دیباج در تاریخ 19 ژانویه سال 1994 هنگامی که صبح زود آزم فرودگاه مهراباد بود ناپدید گردید و دیگر هیچ وقت به خانه بر نگشت پس از یازده روز بیخبری و سرگردانی خانواده و کلیسا جسد ایشان که با بیست و چهار ضربه دشنه کاملا پاره پاره شده بود تحویل گردید مطمئنا این نو شکنجه و شهادت جانبازانه به خاطر اعتقادات تفکر روحانی روش زندگی و مخصوصا حمایت ایشان از جفا دیدگان و رعایت حقوق بشر و برای آزادی مذهبی بود که به انجام رسید بدیهی است که ریخته شدن خون این شهید گرانقدر در طول 20 سال گذشته ثمرات زیادی به بار آورده است چنان که معروف است که خون شهیدان بذر کلیساست زندگی تأثیر گذار این شهید و دیگر شهیدان بزرگوار الگوی بزرگی از غیرت و شجاعت فوقالعاده برای نسل جدید از پیروان مسیح بوده که بسیاری از آنها همکنون در ایران به خاطر ایمانشان جفا دیده و در زندان ها به سر میبرند قطعا نجات و رشد روحانی تعداد بیشماری از هموطنان عزیزمان نتیجه زندگی پربار موعظه ها سرودهای دلنشین و خدمات شهید هایک می باشد که تأثیر به یادماندنی آنها هرگز در تاریخ کلیسا فراموش نخواهد شد شهامت ایشان اعضای بدن مسیر را به غیرت و شجاعت بیشتری دعوت می کند تا راه مسیر را با حمل صلیب و انکار نفس وفادارانه پیروی نمایند رهنمودها موعظه ها تعالیم و سرودهای دلنشین او را هرگز فراموش نخواهیم کرد روحش شاد یادش گرامی و مهرش در قلب های ما همواره برقرار باشد میتونم بگم این سالهایی که با هایی زندگی کردم از خیلی فراز و نشیب ها عبور کردیم و خیلی در یاد گرفتیم در این مدت احساس کردم که های چقدر با محبت لبریز از محبت یادم ربکا فقط یک سالش بود که پدر مادر خواهر برادر هم تصمیم گرفتن که مهاجرت کنم به ارمنستان و من در اون ایستگاه راهن گریه می کردم و فیلم کردم هیچ وقت دیگه اونها رو دوباره نخواهم دید های خیلی با ملایمت دلداری می داد و می گفت قول می دم که بغیر از اینکه همسر خوبی برای تو باشم جای پدر و مادر و خواهر و برادر رو بگیرم و می تونم به سرعت بگم که تا آخرین لحظه عمرش روی این قولش ایستاد تمام اون چیزایی که موعظه می کرد در زندگی روزمرش ما اونو می دیدیم و این باز برای من خیلی ارزش داشت بابا پر از محبت بود و نه تنها ما بچه ها و خانواده رو محبت می کرد بلکه برای بسیاری از اعضای کلیسا مثل یک پدر بود و همه را دوست داشت. بابا خیلی مسافرت می رفت و یادم یه روزی که سرش خیلی شلوغ بود و آماده سفر می شد، تلفنی بهش شد و بهش گفتن که اگه میشه یک از سرودها رو از انگلیسی به فارسی ترجمه کنه. بابا هم با خوشحالی قبول کرد. 
من که میدونستم که سرش چقدر شلوغه گفتم بابا چرا قبول کردی که این سرودا ترجمه کنی افراد دیگه ای هستن که هم انگلیسی میدونن هم فارسی و میتونن اونا این خدمت رو انجام بدن و گفتم در ضمن هیچ کس هم نمیبینه که شما اینقدر به این خدمات وقت میدین بابا گفت مهم اینه که خدا میبینه و خودش اجر منو در آسمان به من میده من فقط ده سال افتخار زندگی کردم با بابا رو داشتم ولی یکی از چیزهایی که خیلی روی زندگی من تاثیر گذاشت این بود که پوری با من رفتار میکرد و منو احترام میگذاشت که مثل اینکه با یک مرد سی چهل ساله بالغ داره صحبت میکنه و این فکرم نشان از فروتنی شخصیتش بود من همیشه عادت داشتم که خیلی ابراز احساسات میکردم به بابا همیشه نازش میکردم، بغلش میکردم، ماچش میکردم و خیلی خاطره جالب و بامزه ای دارم که هیچ وقت یادم نمیره فکر کنم هشت یا نه سالم بود من یک بار یک آب نبات توی دهنم داشتم ولی در عالم خودم بودم و اصلا یادم رفته بود که آب نبات توی دهنم هست و یک جلسه خیلی رسمی و جدی در خونمون بود که کشیشان خیلی زیادی اونجا بودن و بابا داشت صحبت میکرد با اونها من با این آب نبات توی دهن دویدم به طرف بابا بغلش کردم اومدم که ببوسمش و این نوک تیز آب نبات خورد به لوپ بابا و اونجا همه خندیدن ولی خیلی جالبه اونجا بابا میتونست منو توبیخ بکنه یا پیش همه یه خورده حداقل عصبانی بشه ولی به جاش یک لبخند کوچکی زد و گفت بابا جان فکر کنم یادت رفته آب نبات داری توی دهنت و خلاصه به خوبی و خوشی همه چیز سرگذشت یادم یه روز تو خونه بودم و فکر کردم هیچ کس خونه نیست و داشتم پیانو می نواختم ولی بابا خونه بود و بعد از نواختنم اومد و منو بغل کرد سرم رو بوسید و حتی یک هدیه کوچیکی به من داد و گفت جیلبرت یه حس خیلی خاصی داری در نوازندگی و گفت دعا میکنم که این رو برای خداوند استفاده بکنیم همیشه من و ما رو تشویق میکرد و میگفت که دعای من این هست که در خدمت خداوند باشید یادم حدود یک سال قبل از شهادت بابا بود که من دوران آموزشی سربازیم شروع شده بود و باعث پنج صبح به پادگان مرداباد کرج میرفتم که چیزی حدود یک ساعت و نیم از تهران را بود بابا گفت امروز من تو رو به پادگان میرسونم تا نگران پیدا کردن تاکسی نباشیم در اصلاحات وقت ساعت پنج صبح به پادگان رسیدیم تازه اونجا متوجه شدم که کلاه سربازیم رو خونه جا گذاشتم از اونجایی که برای رژه صبحگاهی احتیاج به کلاه داشتم بابا با نهایت مشغلی که داشت به من گفت نگران نباش من برمیگردم تهران و کلاه تو میارم ناچارم با نظر ایشون موافقت کردم ولی از درون واقعا پرس میخوردم و از دست خودم خیلی عصبانی بودم بالاخره ایشون قبل از ساعت هشت کلاه رو به پادگان رسوند و به یاد دارم وقتی با شرمندگی از ایشون عذرخواهی کردم و تشکر کردم که این چند ساعت رو رانندگی کرده بابا بدون اینکه سرزنش هم کنه یا حتی کوچکترین منتی رو رو سرم بذاره با نهایت محبت و همون لحن آرومش و من گفت نگران نباش اتفاقا این فرصت خیلی خوبی بود که در طول مسیر در این چند ساعت بتونم دعا بکنم و با خداوند وقت شخصی رو بگذرونم امروز نه سال میشه که خودم پدر دو فرزند هستم و میتونم بگم اکس و طرز برخورد بابا رو به مراتب بیشتر قدردانی میکنم با اینکه های اکسرش خیلی شلوغ بود مشغله خدمت خیلی فوقلاده زیاد بود ولی به تک تک ما ارزش میداد و وقت میداد و من خدا رو شب کنم برای وجودش سالها گذشت بیستومین بیستوپنجومین سالگرد ازدواجمون رو جشت گرفتیم و های کمیشه عشقش رو ابراز میکرد و این برای من خیلی قشنگ بود به خاطر همینه که هیچ وقت احساس کمبود محبت را پیدا نکرده بودم اگه امروز میوه خوبی در زندگی من هست که دیده میشه نتیجه دانه خوبیه که بابا کاشته در زندگی من و به سراحت میتونم بگم که تمام خدمت هم رو مدیون بابا هستم بابا نمونه و مدل زندگی من بود قهرمان من بود و هست نه فقط در ایمان، در کلام، در تعلیم بلکه در شخصیت، در تشفیق ها، در آهنگسازی، در سرایندگی و در نوازندگی تأثیری که بابا روی زندگی من حتی تا به امروز گذاشته این بوده که اینقدر بابا با مسیح راه میرفت که نمیذاشت هیچ چیز دنیاوی یا هیچ چیز انسانی اون آرامش آسمانیش رو ازش بگیره 
گاهی با دقت به رفتار و شخصیت پدرم در خونه نگاه می کردم و می دیدم که اون پر از محبت، پر از شادی و پر از آرامش خداونده و پیش خودم فکر می کردم که اگه مسیح در قرن بیستا متولد می شد احتمالا باید یک چنین شخصیتی می داشت این تأثیری بود که پدرم رو من گذاشته بود بیست سال گذشته متاسفانه هایک جسمن بین ما نیست ولی حضورش را همیشه ما احساس می کنیم و خدا را شکر می کنم که خداوند اجازه داد که در کنار همچین مرد خدایی زندگی کنم همیشه به یادش هستیم و هیچ وقت فراموش نخواهیم کرد We praise the Lord for a life and a death that was fruitful. Uh, my dad, just like Paul, could say that to live is Christ and to die is even gain. At this moment, I want to introduce you um, to my mentor, my teacher, my friend, the one that I look up to a lot. Um, his songs have affected the globe, Tommy Walker. What an indescribable honor to be a part of this celebration. Thank you for letting me be a part. And we're here to remember the works of God's faithfulness in His hand. And uh, so I just want to teach you a simple chorus. It just goes like this. We will remember. We will remember. We will remember the works of your hand. We will stop and give you praise For great is thy faithfulness Can you try it with me? Sing it together We will remember We will remember We will remember The works of your hand We will stop And give you praise Oh, great is that. Let's stand up together. Let's sing it one more time. Everybody's singing now. Oh, we will remember. We will remember. Yeah. We will remember the works of your hands. We will stop and give you praise. For great is thy faith. Our life sustainer, deliverer, our comfort, our joy. Throughout the ages, you've been our shelter, our peace in the midst of the storm. With signs and wonders, sing along, you've shown your power. With precious blood, you showed us your grace. You've been our helper, our liberator, the giver of life with no end. Everybody say, everybody say, we will remember. We will remember. We will remember the works of your hand. darkest valleys we will look back at all you have done and we will shout our God is good and he is the faithful one hallelujah 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 to the one from whom all blessings flow 
I was just an 11-year-old boy in a church much like this, hearing the gospel. In fact, a, a group was singing, Jesus loves me, this I know. And for the first time, this God we sing of, he, I heard him speak to me and he said, Tommy, I love you. I have a plan for your life. I said yes to him that day. What a beautiful gospel. Oh, the good news, how precious. It came to me that day. It goes like this. And I still remember the day you saved me. The day I heard you call out my name. You said you loved me, would never leave me. And I've never been lost. برای من باعث افتخار هست که مادرم رو به شما معرفی بکنم. My privilege to introduce my mom to you, his mom. خیلی متشکرم برای اینکه حضور شما الان امروز با ما هست این برای من شخصا باعث تسلی خیلی زیاده very glad that you're here your presence here is a great comfort to me سالها که باهای زندگی کردم و در خدمت خداوند بودیم خاطرات خیلی زیادی باهای داشتم for many years that I lived with Haik and we served the Lord I have many memories ولی بعد از شهادت هایک انگار یک فصل جدیدی در زندگی من شروع شد. But after uh, hike was martyred it's like a new season began in my life. Uh, و تجربیات خیلی سختی عبور کردم که هیچ وقت تجربه نکرده بودم. And I went through many difficult experiences I had never fronted with before. و خداوند خیلی درس آموخت. The Lord taught me many lessons. Uh, در اینجا جا داره که تشکر کنم در اون روزهای سخت از خانواده هایک و خانواده خودم که چقدر برای من ساپورت بودن. It uh, bears mentioned that my own family and Hike's family were great comfort to me after his death. Um, و جا داره تشکر کنم از خادمین عزیز که وقتشون رو دادن با ملاقاتاشون، دعاهاشون و ما را حتی یک لحظه تنها نگذاشتن. I want to thank many dear ones that they took the time and they came and visited with me and they prayed with me and they spent the time. بعضیا در اینجا هستن، بعضیا در ارمنستان، ایران، انگلیس، فرانسه، کره و خادمینی بودن که 
مرتب مرتب به ما سر می زدن و کمک می کردن their dear ones that were in Iran in Armenia in France in South Korea and uh, they came and visited with me um, و تشکر کنم از اعضایی که چقدر اومدن در اون روزها برای من خانواده من غذا پختن خرید کردن نظافت کردن um, هیچ وقت نمیتونم فراموش کنم And also I want to thank all the dear ones that during that time they came and they cooked for me, they cleaned for me, and they supported me while I was going through the difficult time. Some of them are here now, some are in Iran. And also those that sent me Uh, condolences, letters, and, and supported me and my family at that time. And I want to thank the leaders of organization that supported us and also about 2,000 cards and letters that we received. یادم هست در بین این همه کارت ها یک کارت بدون آدرس مونده بود فقط نوشته بودن ایران تهران میسیس تاکوش و سپیان و این کارت هم به دست من رسید چون که هر روز ده ها ده ها کارت می آوردن پس دیگه حتما نام و فامیل فقط کافی بود Because they, we received so many letters every day, just a name and a last name was enough to get a letter to us. And I felt that I have a very large family in our Lord Jesus. And the head of that family is our Lord Jesus himself and all the brothers and sisters are from many different nationalities. داشتن خانواده بزرگ این دومین بار بود که تجربه کرده بودم of course, have such a large family this was the second time I had experienced it. اولین بار در موقعی بود که تصادف کرده بودیم و همین احساس را داشتم the first time was when we had had that horrible car accident and I had that same feeling ولی در این روزهای سخت و دوران مخصوصا هفته های اول ماه های اول شهادت های but in the first few weeks and the first few months that was very difficult for me after his death من همش این فکر رو میکردم و دعا میکردم که خداوند من نمیخوام که سوگواری غم و اندوه حکم فرما باشه و این خانواده شاد و خوشحال بچه های من رو تحت تاثیر قرار بذاره My prayer to the Lord was that I didn't want depression, sadness and mourning would remain in our life and ruin the love and joy that we had with our family with the children و دعا میکردم که خداوند خواهش میکنم به من حکمت بده که بدونم چطوری باید رفتار کنم. And I was asking the Lord for wisdom as how I should behave. یادم اون موقع رسم بر این بود که دست میدادم و میگفتم بعد از این باید هم پدر باشی هم مادر. And the tradition was they would shake my hand they say you have to be now both the, the parents mother and the father to your children. من نمیخواستم پدر باشم میخواستم فقط مادر باشم. I didn't want to be the father I just wanted to be the mother. ولی مسئولیت خیلی زیادی بود که باید به عهده میگرفتم. There was a very large responsibility I had to take. پس برای همین بود که مرتب برای حکمت الهی دعا میکردم. And that's why I always prayed for wisdom from the Lord. و خدا را شکر میکنم که این سوگواری و غم و اندوه مسلط نشد بر خانواده. And I want to thank the Lord that the mourning and the sadness did not overcome our family. و درسای زیادی که در این پروسه 20 ساله میتونم بگم یاد گرفتم این خداوند یاد داد. The lessons that I've learned in the process of these 20 years the Lord has taught me. درس توکل کردن به خداوند. And it's to really entrust in the Lord. اعتماد کردن to trust in him to really rely on him and, and the most difficult lesson for me was forgiveness but the Lord also taught me that lesson and And up to this day, I have to remember to daily to pray and to forgive and to trust in the Lord and to move forward. And it's a daily thing. It doesn't end. 
من فکر کردم که تموم میشه هیچ وقت دیگه احساسات شاید بر نگرده ولی گاهی اوقات بر میگرده پس مرتب مرتب باید بسپارم و دعا کنم I thought that the memories would eventually go away but once in a while that sadness still comes back and I still have to again trust in the Lord um, من اینجا جا داره از بچه های خودم هم تشکر کنم که بچه های خودم برای من باعث تسلی زیاد شدن حتی آندره که کوچیک بود با اون سن و سالش برای من باعث تسلی بود از آندره گرفته تا ربکا بزرگترین از آندره تا ربکا بزرگترین خدا را شکر میکنم که بچه ها بزرگ شدن همه با همسران خیلی خوب ازدواج کردن nice خداوند شیش تا نوه هدیه داده به ما تا به امروز و و خیلی خوشحالم که همه خانواده به نوعی در خدمت خدا هستند. و همه ما تصمیم گرفتیم که راه هایک را ادامه بدیم و با زندگیمون باعث جلال نام خدا باشیم. دوباره تشکر میکنم از حضور شما و احتیاج به دعاهای شما دارم. I want to thank you again and I do need your prayers. میخوام در این لحظه از برادر رامین هم تشکر به خصوصی بکنیم یکی از بهترین مترجمین آمریکا هستن ایشون. He's thanking the translator that would be me. He doesn't translate I said this prayer is the best translator. Uh, in uh, churches that at least I know, and we are very thankful for his service. I'm sure English-speaking people are also. در حالی که حاضر میشیم برای یک نمایشنامه ده دقیقه ای که توسط اعضای هنرمند کلیسای مختلفی آماده شده. While we wait for a, a short 10-minute uh, play that we have prepared from various members of different churches. نمایشنامه‌ای که امروز برگزار خواهد شد داستان زندگی پدرم نیست. The play that we're going to see tonight has, uh, is not the life story of my father. و سعی نکنید حس بزنید داستان کی هست چون داستان هیچ شهیدی نیست. And don't try to match uh, the death of any martyrs to it because it's not a comparison. بلکه داستانی از سمبل شهادتایی که امروز در ایران و جاهای مختلف دنیا انجام میشه. But it's a symbol of the martyrdom of in Iran and in various places throughout the world. ولی مهمتر از اون اون لگسی و میراثی که این شهدا از خودشون باقی میذارن. But it's also the legacy that the martyrs leave behind. و مطمئنم باعث برکت شما خواهد شد. Certainly it'll be a blessing to you. صحبت از شهدای دیگه هست ما واقعا خوشحال هستیم که در بین ما امروز داریم خانواده های شهدای دیگه ای رام همچنین دوست بسیار عزیز من عیسی دیباج و خانمشون ایشون پسر بزرگی بر در دیباج هستند اگر ممکن است سر پا بیستیم خوش آمد میگیم خیلی خوشحال هستیم با ما هستیم و بردار ایسا و مریم عزیز ایشون عزیزان راه طولانی رو از ویرژینیا اومدن فقط به خاطر همین برنامه و دوستی پدران ما باعث بهتر شدن دوستی پسران شده همچنین خانواده کشیش تاتوس میکایلیان عزیزان در بین ما هستن بردار هنریک و مطمئنم عزیزان دیگه خوش آمد میگیم به شما هم خوشحال هستیم با ما هستیم خانواده های شهید به روان بخش نتونستن امروز در بین با باشن خانواده غربان تورانی اینجا نیستن ولی اونا رو به طور مخصوص به یاد داریم خیلی خوشحالیم که 
قربان تورانی that couldn't be with us this و time. و مطمئنم شهدای زیادی هستن که حتی متاسفانه اسم اونها هیچ موقع در روزنامه نوشته نشده. And on, we know that there's names of many martyrs that's never published in any newspaper. و دوست داریم اونها را هم به همون اندازه قدردانی بکنیم. And we'd like to appreciate them just as much. یک درجه پایین شهدا درجه جفادیدگان و زندانیان هست. So one level below martyrs are those that are persecuted در آسمان البته درجه همه یکی هست من فکر می‌کنم. Course in heaven I think they reap the same reward. خانواده فرشید فتی یکی از دوستان صمیمی دیگه من که همچنان در زندان هستن ایشونو به یاد میاریم. Remember the family of Farshid Fatih which is now in prison in Iran. سعید آبدینی که در زندان هست واقعا دعای ما امروز این است که خداوند این عزیزان رو پشت میلای زندان قوت خاصی عطا بکنه. So message tonight is that the strength the, those that are behind bars would be strengthened for the name of God. افتخار هست. It's our privilege here. Every day thousands of Muslims around the world convert to Christianity. and accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. However, following Jesus doesn't always come easily. It requires paying a price. multiple threats, they continued following the Lord with courage and risked their lives by spreading the gospel in the underground church because they knew what the Lord said. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory and of God rests in you. to the glory that we will receive in heaven. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Neither the present nor future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we have been united with Him like this in His death, we will certainly also be united with Him in His resurrection. Afflicted 
in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not pursued. Struck down, but not destroyed. And willing to die for Christ declaring, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, if it dies, it produces many seeds. Oh, 
چقدر خوب میشه که بر یک دقیقه همگی ما بیستیم و در سکوت به احترام برادر هایک و دیگر شهیدان تعمق کنیم If we can stand together in silence for a moment for a minute and meditate on the martyrs and brother hike and his martyrdom بفرمایید you may be seated همه مرگ های مقدسین و متعلقین به خدا برای او با ارزش و گرانبهاست The death of those that die for the Lord is valuable and precious to him. ولی طبیعی است که کسانی که در طریق خدا شهید شدند قربانی آنها به طور خاص مورد قبول خدا و با ارزش است. And it's also natural that the sacrifice that the martyrs have done for the Lord is accepted in a special way. و بنده به طور مختصر درباره مرگ مقبول یک شهید مسیحی سخن میگویم و به این سوال میخوام پاسخ بدم که مرگ یک شهید مسیحی دارای چه بیژگی های خاصی میباشد نکته اول این است که مرگی است که همراه خود مقصد و هدف مشخصی را دارد. It's a death that has a special destination. در برخی از قبایل آفریقایی وقتی یک مسیح می‌میرد نمی‌گویند که او مرد. In some African tribes when a Christian dies they don't say that he died. بلکه می‌گویند که فلانی به مقصد رسید، به هدف رسید. They say so and so got to his destination, to his goal. خب طبیعی است که مرگ عیسی مسیح که بالاتر از یک شهید هست Of course, the death of our Lord Jesus, which is above the death of a martyr, was this. Masih bare hamin hadaf be in jahan amad. Jesus came to this world for this purpose. Va dar luga bab no aye panjo yek mige Masih be azm rasekh, yani ba tasmim jeddi be urshalim raf bare in hadaf. In line in Luke 9:51, it says that Jesus, with determination, went to Jerusalem for his ascension. Dar Ebraniyan bab yadda aye sizdeh niz dar bare qahremanan in. ایمان این طور صحبت شده. In Hebrews 11:13 about the the great people of faith is said this. همه آنها در ایمان فوت شدند. All of them have perished in their faith. در حالی که وعده را نیافته بودند. Even though they had not yet received the promise. بلکه آنها را دور دیده تیاد گفتند. But they had welcomed and seen it from a distance. منظور اینه که مردان خدا دارای دید و رویا بودند. What this means is that the men of God had a vision. و به سمت هدف مهم این رویاشون آنها را سوق میداد and that vision would direct them upward toward a destination و بسیاری از آنها در دوران حیاتشون به رویای خود نرسیدن and many of them in their lifetime did not reach that vision ولی حاضر بودن برای این هدفی که در آینده به وقوع می پیوندد بها بپردادن they were willing to pay the price for that vision that they had in for the future و حتی جانشان را فدا کنند and they were willing to give their lives. Brother Haik, Margish, to ame ba yek hadaf bud. The death of Brother Haik was with a purpose. U maqtusan bari hemayat az jafa didegan. He specially supported the persecution. Va maqtusan bar garari azadi mazhabi. And also religious freedom he supported. Dar keshvar ma Iran. In the country of Iran. Jan khud raf pada kard. He was willing to give his life. و او در یکی از نوشته‌های خودش قبل از شهادت اینطور نوشته. آزادی مذهبی آنقدر با ارزش است که برای رسیدن به آن حاضرم جان خود را نیز فدا کنم. Religious freedom is so precious that I'm willing to give my life in the way of it. یک مجله نروژی در هنگام شهادت او اینطور نوشت. A Norwegian magazine wrote about his martyrdom. Mardi ke midanes bari che kasi mikhat bemirat. A man that knew for whom he will die. Mardi ke hadaf man bud. It was a death that had a purpose. Nokte do bom dar mored de mardi ek shahid. Second point about a death of a martyr. Mardi ist agahane ke ba amadegi qabli anjam mishavat. It's a death that is in awareness and a preparation from beforehand. 
عیسی مسیح قبل از اینکه بمیره برای این مرگ آماده شد. Jesus before he died he prepared for his death. و خودش میگه کسی جان من رو از من نمیگیره من خودم میدهم تا آن را باز دوباره پس گیرم. He himself said that they will not take my life from me but I will give it willingly and I will take it back. و پولس رسول همینطور قبل از اینکه شهید بشه آماده شده بود. And apostle Paul also before he was martyred he was prepared. به کلیسا که گریه میکرد برای شهید شدن او میگه چرا to the church that were weeping because he was going to be martyred he says why are you breaking my heart by weeping that I'm willing not only to be imprisoned for my Lord Jesus but to also die for him and so all these persecution that happens to me I consider it nothing was brother Hike not like this maybe we think he was surprised or he was suddenly arrested and he went into shock or he was not prepared not so we that were from his family and we knew him we knew that it was not so he was prepared. Ten days before he was martyred was the uh, engagement of his daughter. And I was the organizer of that party. After all the guests departed, we sat down and had tea together. That's what he said. He says, this is also done. Now I'm even more prepared to be martyred. در قلبش جواهی داشت که به سمتی میره که شهادته. He had an assurance in his heart that the direction he went ended in martyrdom. جزیات رو نمیدونه. He didn't know the details. زمان و نحوه انجامش رو نمیدونه. He didn't know the time or how. ولی میدونه که چه کار داره میکنه. But he knew what he was doing. او در یکی دیگه از ایمیل های خودش اینطور نوشت. In another email he wrote this. من میدانم دستم را به سوراخ مار گذاشتم. I know that I've stuck my hand in a in a hole of a میدانم که با آتش دارم بازی میکنم. I know that I'm playing with fire. ولی اگر این کار من باعث میشه but if I do, what I do causes for the whole world to know that what happens to the martyrs for Christ, sorry, to the persecutors of Christ, I'm willing to pay this price. نقطه سوم از ویژگی های مرگ شهید اینه که مرگی است که پیام پرثمری را دارد. The third unique point about life of a martyr it has a fruitful result. کلام خدا در ابرانیان میگوید خون حابیل اولین شهید نزد خدا برای اجرای عدالت فریاد برآورد. In Hebrews 11 it says that the blood of Abel was crying out to the Lord for justice. و در ابرانیان باب دوازده میگوید خون مسی متکلم است یعنی پیام دارد. In Hebrews 12 it says that the blood of Jesus speaks it has a message. و پیام بسیار غنی دارد. And it has a very rich message. و مسی فرمود دانه گندم تا به زمین نیفتد و نمیرد ثمر نمی آورد. Jesus said unless a seed falls in the ground and it dies it will not bear fruit. البته مسی ثمره مشقت جان خود را دید. Of course Jesus saw the fruit of the difficulty of his مقدسین در تاریخ کلیسا همیشه بذر کلیسا بوده و خواهد بود. The blood of the holy ones in the church has always been a seed and will be in the church. خدا در ایران در شرایط کنونی یک نسل جدیدی، مسیحیت جدیدی، کلیساهای جدیدی با بافت جدیدی ایجاد کرده است. In this new time, the blood of martyrs have brought a new movement, a new generation. In the church and a new movement. And these martyrs have a message for the church. When they hear about their fathers, that what price they paid, they find a new renewed dedication to carry their cross. همین الان لاقل اونایی را که ما میشناسیم پنجا نفر به خاطر نام مسی در زندان هستند. We know at least 50 people that for the name of Jesus they're imprisoned. و وقتی که ما به آنها درباره این شهیدان و تفکرشون و همینطور بقیه شهیدان جهان میگوییم موعظه هاشون رو میدیم به آنها 
اونها تشویق میشن که این راه را با انگیزه بهتری دنبال کنن. When we share with them about the martyrs throughout the world, they are even more encouraged to follow this path. هیچ کس نمیتواند تاثیر خون عیسی مسیح و تاثیر خون شهیدان را به باد ببرد یعنی خنسا کند. No one can eliminate or make ineffective the blood of the martyrs or the blood of Christ. هیچ کس نمیتواند روح القدس را متوقف کند. No one can stop the Holy Spirit. هیچ کس نمیتواند عیسی مسیح و انجیل قدرتمند او را زندانی کند. No one can imprison the gospel or the message of Jesus. خداوند خیلی بیشتر از گذشته الان در ایران کار میکنه. God works much more now than in the past. ساختمان های کلیسا را بستند. They've closed the church buildings. ولی هیچ کس نمیتونه خداوند ما عیسی مسیح را ببنده. But no one can shut down our Lord Jesus. Alleluia. Alleluia. خون شهیدان پیام داره. The blood of the martyrs has a message. پیام پرثمر داره. And it has a fruitful message. چارومین خاصیت مرگ مقبول خدا مرگ محترم و پر افتخاری کلام خدا میفرماید موت مقدسان در حضور خدا گران بهاد The word of God says that the death of the saints is precious to the Lord. When we remember the time the first martyr Stephen was being stoned. What did he see in that situation? He saw the Lord Jesus with his glory in heaven. That he's risen at his throne. We respect to receive the spirit of the martyr. برای دریافت روی برادر هایک و دیگر شهیدان چه افتخار بزرگی است برای استیفان What a great privilege it was for Stephen. But after 2,000 years, his name is remembered with respect. But the name of the opposers of the church and enemies of the church is thrown in the trash. برادر هایک اغلب می‌فرمودند. Brother Hike would often say, "If someday I'm supposed to die of a heart attack or an accident, it's better for me to give my life for the real way." Each time, these people never get old for us. And always, in history, the name of them. با احترام برده خواهد شد و میدونم که تفکر این شهیدان همان تفکری بود که در کتاب اعداد نوشته شده کاش که من به وفات عادلان بمیرم و عاقبت من مثل عاقبت ایشان باشد May I die a death of a righteous, and my future would be like their future. And the last point. About the death of martyrs. The death of a Christian martyr is a brave death. دقت بفرمایید عیسی مسیح درباره مرگ خود چه فرمود؟ Remember what Jesus said about his own death. محبت بزرگتر از این نمیشه در سراسر جهان پیدا کرد. You cannot find a greater love throughout the world. که شخصی حاضر باشه جان خود را در راه دوستان خود فدا کنه. That someone would be willing to lay down his life for his friends. و البته کلام خدا اینطور میگوید. Of course the word of God says که همانطور که او محبت کرد جانش رو برای ما داد so ما نیز اگر واقعا محبت مسیح را داریم Christ, باید حاضر باشیم جان خود را در راه کلیسا و برادران و خواهران خود بدهیم برادر هایک عزیز قبل از شهادت خود فرموده بود کسانی که در راه مسیح جفا می بینند برای ایمانشان ایستادن ما باید حاضر باشیم برای آنها بها بپردیم ایشان در یکی دیگه از نوشته این طور فرمودن ما سالها سکوت کردیم و چیزی عوض نشد سپس متوجه شدیم که سیاست سکوت 
that the politics of silence is a, is a politics of Satan. That's why we raised our cry to support the persecuted so that the Christian world will hear our voice. Yes, he stood with sacrifice and with giving for the church. He believed that a death in pleasing God is better than to live a long life in shame. Or death. That a death while standing is better than going a long life on your knees. We thank God for his bravery and for his sacrifice. When he was martyred, I didn't move from his house for two weeks. And I didn't go to church. And I was worried what the future of the church would be. اشخاص زیادی به دیدن ما آمدن many people visited us و بعضی از آنها وصیت هایی به ما دادن and some of them gave us advice و برخی از این وصیت ها با خونشون امضا شده بود and some of this advice was signed in their blood و در آنجا گفته بودن and they had said there برادر ادوارد شما تنها نیستی brother edward you're not alone ما پشت سر شما ایستاده ایم we're standing behind you و حاضریم تا پای جان خود and we're willing to stand with our life to serve Christ. Now the new generation that God has raised up in Iran are such a people. We thank God for this. Thank you. It is my joy on behalf of the Assemblies of God to greet you on this occasion of the 20th anniversary of the death of Bishop Heiko Sepian. I want you as a family to know that every day for the past years too many that I can't remember, I have prayed daily for you that the Lord would strengthen you and help you. And also I pray daily for the church in Tehran and throughout Iran and a number of our pastors there that have either been imprisoned or are presently in prison. I remember words that uh, Pastor Debaj said uh, to one of his interrogators while he was in prison. We Christians are like a ball. The harder you hit us, the further we go. And I believe that describes the indomitable faith of believers in Iran. And Bishop Heiko Sepian's death, while painful as it has been, nevertheless has brought about a fruitfulness today all over the world and persons that are saying at any cost we must share our faith the lord bless you and be with you on this very significant anniversary gathering welcome to hodges chapel I'm Vicki Gaston, curator of Hodges Chapel here at Beeson Divinity School. Within the dome of the chapel is the great cloud of witnesses inspired by the sacred words from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Six 20th century Christian martyrs, one from each continent, memorialize the faith attested to by all believers as we give tribute to their lives, we honor God, who enabled them to be obedient even unto death. They are Romulo Saune of Peru, May Heyman of Australia, Bishop Haik Hosepenmer of Iran, Archbishop Janani Luwum of Uganda, Dietrich Bonhoeffer of Germany, and Bill Wallace of the United States, who was killed in South China. Although our lives may never be at stake for what we believe, their example should stir us to faithfulness and thanksgiving. Actually, when I think of Bishop Hike, my response is, had the book of Hebrews been written in our time, he would have been mentioned in there because he had a hope that was not ashamed and he was certain 
of that which was not evidently seen at that time. And the Word of God says, greater love has no one than to give his life for his friend. Jesus gave his life for us, so can be his friends. And I gave his life for a friend to the glory of God. And for that we praise the Lord. Brother Hike said, I said to God, yes, I am willing at any cost to go through even death for the sake of reaching the lost peoples of Iran. یادم اوایل ایمانم بود که موزه ای از بردرهای که عزیز به دستم رسید و بارها گوش میکردم و بسیار باعث برکت و تقویت ایمانی من شده بود. خدا رو شکر میکنم برای وجود بردرهای برای ایمانش برای دیرتش باشد تا ما هم به فیض خداوند ادامه دهنده راه این سرباز مسیح این قهرمان ایمان باشه من از نوایندگی خیلی خیلی ایمانداران فارسوان در این کشور این پیغام میدم تو در قلب مایی تو برای ما عزیزی تو شاهد زنده مسیح بودی که ایستادی بها دادی جان تو فدا کردی و از خداوند میخوام که تک تک ما رو برای کار عظیمش برای پیش برد ملکوتش در کشور عزیزمون ایران در این شهر بزرگ تهران به کار بگیره تا بتونیم شاهدان و سفیران امینی برای خداوند باشیم میتونیم ایران را با دو دیدگاه نگاه کنیم یک دیدگاهی که دنیا میبینه دیدگاهی که مدیا منتقل میکنه که شاید دیدگاه خیلی منفی و تلخی است که مسائل عجیب غریب اتفاق میفته و دنیای طور دیگه میبینه اما دیدگاهی که از طریق کلیسا میتونیم ببینیم دیدگاهی است که کلیسا آماده است و ایران برای انجیل باز است و بسیاری در تمام عقص و نقاط کشور تشنه خداوندن، تشنه انجیل هم، تشنه ایسای مسیح هم، تشنه محبت هم. و این نشون میده که در طول این سالها خون شهد و دعاهاشون خدماتشون نه فقط دفع نشد و فراموش نشد بلکه باعث شد که یک موج تازه برای حقیقت بیدار بشه و این محصول اون زحمات هست صحنه آخری که در ویدیو دیدین از برادر وارتام بود برادر وارتام was the last person in the video and unfortunately uh, his visa was delayed uh, and he was unable to join us from Armenia but he called us and we sent his greetings to all of us این قسمت رو من به خاطر کمی وقت فقط به انگلیسی صحبت خواهم کرد at this session we want also look at the ministry Uh, especially of Serbian ministries, a lot of people uh, might not know exactly what it is and how it has started. But as a lot of you would guess, it has uh, started as a direct result and inspiration of my father. And what we are doing today uh, has been a direct uh, connection with what my father has done. And I don't want to talk much about of Serbian ministries because in three years we will celebrate the 10th anniversary of Uh, that organization and hopefully all of you can join us again uh, and we celebrate together God's uh, faithfulness. Uh, but I just want to say that even after my dad's martyrdom, even when he was dead uh, and not alive, at least uh, in this world, a lot of doors one after the other would open for us. And that was uh, the very encouraging factor that I think our family uh, experienced. Those that know my father closely know that he was a man of vision. He would always see ahead of others. And uh, especially in technology, uh, he was one of the pioneers. When I was like about 14, 15, I would question that. Why the superintendent of Assemblies of God that has so many uh, stressful jobs to do every uh, day for a couple of minutes goes to the room upstairs and all the VHS tape players and recorders that we had to duplicate VHS tapes, Christian tapes to distribute. He had a vision 
at a time that maybe a lot of Christians even would not consider video production in any way. In 1991, he purchased a, a small computer PDA, Palm, that had the whole Bible on his hand. In some of the clips that you saw, uh, we had a video projector. Uh, I was honored to be his first uh, employee, uh, but I wasn't paid at the time. Uh, but I spent my training in that uh, stage. We had a video projector, and all the Bible studies were done with video projectors. At a time that a lot of churches in America, they were using transparency systems. I'm sure if he was alive, he would be one of the first people that would buy an iPhone or iPad. <laughs> but not because he was greedy, but because he could see the importance of using the best tools to advance God's work. A lot of you maybe see us as heroes and very strong people. But I want to share a story that happened about two years ago in the state of Utah, when my mom and I were visiting there. And uh, the pastor was showing the, his offices. It was a very large church, mega church. He said, this is my office, and this is my son's office. He's next to me. Uh, he's my pastor assistant. And as we were walking to, uh, to sit and get ready for speaking, I, I was about to cry but couldn't because I had to speak in a few minutes. But then I had the question, and by... Uh, regretted that if my dad would have been alive, our offices could have been next to each other. And I maybe could be his assistant, and maybe this time paying uh, employee. <laughs> but as uh, I was quite depressed in those moments, Holy Spirit directly spoke to me, and first of all, he uh, uh, directed my attention to over a thousand people that were there and were praying for us. Then the Holy Spirit directed uh, my attention to my mom, who was sitting there next to me, and it was the symbol of a faithful uh, woman of God. Then he uh, brought before me the pictures of uh, my family, my wife and children. And then I realized that there's really so much to thank for. And then I remembered the video clip that you saw today, where my dad says that, Dying is like going from one room to another room. And then God spoke to me and said, you are still next door to each other. I praise God for uh, the partnership that we have with my father and with a lot of you here. We, as my uh, dad's family, we also want to use technology to advance God's uh, kingdom. And a lot of you know we are quite involved in media and uh, production. Uh, and we are excited to see, as you saw in some of the videos, that people come to Christ and God is using every single uh, instrument. While we are celebrating God's faithfulness, that is not something just for Hike's family, that's something for every one of us. And I think there is a reason for every single person in this hall to celebrate because you have partnered in God's work. The names and credits is not important. I will go through some names of organizations. Together we have done a lot of projects, but I think when we get to heaven, God will not have a book of uh, credits or any organization name. I want to uh, start with a couple of organizations that have really impacted us, helped us, financially, uh, mentally, spiritually, everywise. And uh, I want to start with uh, Sat7 Pars group that we have some of them among us. They have come a very long way. I want to thank you for your partnership and support in TV production. God bless you. I want to thank Voice of the Martyrs, in particular US and uh, Canada office. We have our brother Floyd all the way from Canada just for tonight to be with us. Thank you so much for your partnership. We have visited a lot of churches with Voice of the Martyrs over the past few years. Open Doors International, uh, and in particular USA and Netherlands office. Uh, brother Tommy, my friend, uh, they have come from Netherlands. Uh, over 12 hours flight, and they will return in a few days just for this trip. And this means a lot to us. We have produced a cry from Iran with uh, Open Doors and uh, a few other conferences together, and we are very happy for our partnership. Petra Broadcasting Corporation, my dear brother Armand, 
who was the first person who uh, employed me and for several years, but still a great friend and counselor. Uh, thank you for uh, you, Brother Armand. SRG uh, and uh, Brother David Benwer, who has always encouraged me and has helped our ministry to expand its possibilities. There is also a longer list of people that, whether in short term or long term, we are working together, and I will try to go through this a little faster. Mohabbat TV, another TV production, we have a lot of them among us. Uh, you're welcome here. McClellan Foundation, Assemblies of God World Missions, Global Initiative, CBN, Iran Alive Ministries, Advancing Native Missions, Beyond the Borders, Campus Crusade for Christ, Network 7, Don Moen and Friends, Door of Hope, Article 18, Elam Ministries, 222 Ministries, Farsinet, Four Winds International, Freedom Fellowship International, Exploration Films, World Vision, Christiano Film Group, ICFN TV, Tally Ministries, uh, Brother Tad Stewart with us today. ICI, uh, Brother Abir Farib, uh, Integrity Music, KWVE Radio, Operation Mobilization, Ortnik Outreach, Message of Peace, Radio Voice of Christ, Ravi Zakaras Ministries, and many, many more organizations that probably I have forgotten their names and they will excuse me, hopefully. This list didn't include any churches because of time I cannot uh, start with the church titles, uh, but I want to thank uh, about 250 churches, Iranian and non-Iranian churches, that have hosted us during the past uh, seven years, and uh, they have uh, provided the opportunity for us to speak in four different continents around the world, and we have been blessed, not only by the audience. I want to thank the individual donors of Ofsepian Ministries, prayer partners, the most important thing, that in the frontier supported us, lifted up our hands, and encouraged us. I want to thank Ofsepian Ministries staff and team, that they are very talented, but more importantly, they are trying to embrace the vision and passion that my father Hayek had, my brother Conry uh, behind camera, and uh, many other people. Uh, it's been a joy to work with you. I want to thank volunteers. Uh, our work without volunteers wouldn't uh, happen. Just for today's program, we have about 50 volunteers involved, probably many more. And maybe, yes, we can definitely <laughs> thank them. And the volunteers that throughout all these years have uh, helped us. I think at this stage, I would uh, like to invite my family, uh, we want to dedicate a song to my father, one of the songs that he did, and uh, we want to sing for our Lord and also for my father that I'm sure he would be hearing it. مسیح من توی در تو بود نور و حیا توی شبان آسمانی تنها من جایم تو هستی آمی و راهم تو هستی just to each yari nadaram masi aman tuhi ba eshtiya ri bas azi huzurat ra khaham در حضور تو سرایم تنها من جایم تو هستی آمی و راهم تو هستی جز تو هیچ یاری ندارم مسیح هم من توی 
تنها مل جایم تو هستی آمی و راهم تو هستی جز تو هیچ یاری ندارم مسیح من تو در این قسمت میخوام دعوت بکنم از عروسا و داماد و نوه های شهید هایک I want to invite my wife Andre and Gilbert's wife, children and uh, husband to join us on the stage خدا رو شکر میکنیم برای این خانواده الهی I want to invite uh, our dear brother Jeff Taylor from Open Doors International to lead us in a prayer for the family And I want to also invite some uh, selected pastors. Uh, sorry that we cannot have everyone on the stage, but uh, you can join us uh, from there. Uh, I want to invite uh, Pastor Tad Stewart, Brother Floyd, Pastor Mansur Khajepur, uh, Pastor Rafi Shaverdian, who is with us from Armenia. Thank you. <laughs> Pastor Hormoz Shariat, uh, Pastor Edward of Sepian, Dr. Randy Hurst, Pastor Jalil Seper, Pastor Albert Aslan, and Brother Ebi Ghaffari. If you can join us and lay hands on us, and Brother Jeff Taylor would lead us in a prayer. Oh, God bless you. Uh, dear family, Brother Andrew sends his heartfelt love and greetings to you. He has such fond memories of uh, his times with Brother Hike, and he would have dearly loved to be here tonight. Let's, let's join together in prayer for this precious family. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all glory and honor and praise tonight for what we've seen and heard. We thank you, Lord, that you, over, you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the ruler over the kings of the earth. And yet you delight in being with us here tonight. Thank you so much for that. After all I've, I've heard and seen tonight, I just have one simple prayer for this family. Let's just keep doing what you're doing. Lord, continue to pour out your spirit on them. Give them wisdom when they need wisdom. Give them grace when they need grace. Let them just soak in your love and your mercy. When they feel sad, will they just, may they just sense your arms wrapped around them. Lord, would you continue to expand their ministry and their impact in even greater ways, ways they can't even yet see. But we thank you, Lord, that you've already prepared the works for them to walk in. So we just simply join together as brothers and sisters, your children, and we remember our brother Hike, who is such a gentle, shepherd of the sheep. I pray you'll give, continue to give this family that same love and concern for all they come in contact with. May you just pour out your love through them and continue to bless us and this world in mighty ways through them. So thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Only in your kingdom can we have an even like this that's filled with joy and celebration. Only in your kingdom, Lord, can you take such a tragic situation and turn it for such great good, because you are our great and awesome God, and we bless your name and worship you tonight. Protect this family from the evil one, Lord. Help them to see clearly all that you have for them. Can you give them the desire and the passion to walk daily with you, moment by moment, in the power of your spirit, for your glory, in Jesus' name, amen.
I want to ask just the family to stay here. We have a part in our program that uh, because it was supposed to be a surprise, we didn't write it there. On behalf of the whole family, uh, Mom, we want to thank you for being a great mother and mother-in-law. And <laughs> uh, But this thankfulness is not just only from us, but a lot of people in Iran also apparently look at you and consider you as their mom. We want to do this in this situation. We want to do this in this situation. We want to do this in this situation. و همچنین میخوایم برای قدرانی پلاک رو نه فقط از طرف خانواده از طرف منیستری از طرف تمام داف طلبان به شما تقدیم بکنیم This is the last song and I will teach you this easy song. We can all stand up and sing together. The song says, send me out and I will go. We just remembered uh, my dad, Haikov Sepian, whose life was fruitful, whose death was even more fruitful. And he walked on water, but he got out of the boat first. So many of us, we have to get out of the boat of comfort, maybe, in order to be able to victoriously walk on water. Send me out, Lord, and I will go. Lord, I plead with all my heart and Lord, my life set me apart Believe your power and liberty Lord, send me I cry out for the world to see your beauty and your majesty bringing nations on their knees Lord, send me Send me out to the world, I will go and make you know. Send me out, here I am, I will go. Let's sing it together. Send me out. Send me out to the world, I will go and make you know. Send me out, here I am, I will go. Every soul needs Jesus Christ, Lord, send me. Move and stretch your mighty hand, by your spirit sweep our land. Use me as an instrument, Lord, send me, send me out. Send me out to the world, I will go. The good news to the meek Be his voice, his hands and feet Bring release to prisoners By his power heal the sick Send me out to the world I will go and make you know Send me out, here I am
خداوند تو را شکر می کنیم برای آنچه که امشب گذشت. Lord, we thank you for what we witnessed here tonight. سپاس گذاریم برای این مردان بزرگ. We're thankful for these great men. برای کسانی که الان راه برادر هایک را ادامه می دهند. For those that are following in the path of brother Hike. و مخصوصا خانواده اشان. And especially their family. باشد تا همه ما بتوانیم با زندگی خود یاد شهیدان را زنده نگه داریم. May we in our lives keep the memory of the martyrs. روح آنها در ما کار کند. That their spirit may work in us. خون آنها در رگ‌های ما بجوشد. That their blood may boil in our veins. تفکر آنها در ما حاکم باشد. That their thoughts would be present in our minds. شجاعت آنها را به ما عطا فرما. That their bravery would be ours also. و حال فیض خداوند ما عیسی مسیح. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus. و محبت خدای پدر. And the love of the Father. و شراکت روح القدس با ما باشد و بماند تا به ابد. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain forever. Amen. Amen.